Welcome back to GCW on WBEK. I am the Scoop Lionel Howard along with the manager of the internationals, Miss Harden. Miss Harden, thank you for being on GCW. Yeah, uh, you're burning up my time. Let's move on. Okay, well, um, how long have you been managing the internationals? I ah! <laughs> Sorry about that. Much better. Much better. Uh, because he should know by now that there's only one person on this announced team that's allowed to talk to you. This is our manager special. Of course, somebody who is highly up for a GCW Manager of the Year award, the lovely Miss Harden. So the big question is, is what is it like to manage a fantastic team like the Internationals? You know, it, it has got to be one of the best moves I have made. You know, I've got the live organ who held the heavyweight title. Now I have Hans, who is the current holder of the heavyweight title. I mean, apparently I make the best decisions ever. And the only thing that's left is the tag titles. Soon. Very, soon. very soon. Soon. Now, former INS agent, mm -hmm. how did wrestling happen from that job? I've always loved it. Always loved it. Grew up with it. And then I decided what better thing to do than use my ability with the INS to bring in these huge foreigners to get my way in something I absolutely love. Where could I go wrong? <laughs> she sure hasn't gone wrong so far. Like she said, the live organ, Hans Baumgart, doesn't get any bigger than those two guys. So looking back, you love wrestling. Who would you say, if you were looking back, maybe a classic manager that you might look to for inspiration? I really don't know if she'd be considered classic. Because just the older you get, the better you get. Rest in peace, Sensational Sherry. Sensational Sherry. Absolutely wonderful. Never went wrong in a decision she made. Always knew what to look for in her guys. Couldn't get no better. And that Hall of Fame induction. That was, it doesn't get any uh, more outrageous or out there than that. So I'm going to ask you one last question, and it's only because I have to ask the hard questions. So when Ms. Harden's here, a lot of people have, all, have, have questioned your tactics. They've questioned, the, the, there's this white envelope that they say seems, I've never seen it. I, I don't know I anything about it. I have a very simple motto that I live by. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. So, with that, whatever it takes, I'd like to thank my guest, Miss Harden, right here on GCW. This is Johnny Rocket. Rocket out. Welcome back to GCW on WBEK. This is the second edition of Bell Time. A s exclusive of our managers in Georgia and South Carolina and North Carolina and the Scoop Lionel Howard along with old school Johnny Rocket and we'd like to continue our conversation starting off with the mouth of the South Jimmy Hart a manager that we've seen wrestle in WWF, WWE and WCW uh, he's pretty much been all over the place um, for those of you who may not know actually got to start as a musician mm -hmm. a hit song in the 60's with the Gentries which actually uh, well, most people know him for wrestling. That's kind of continued on to now. Mm -hmm. um, Jimmy Hart's actually written some of the uh, themes that everybody knows and loves, um, mm -hmm. such as uh, Sexy Boy mm -hmm. by Shawn Michaels. Mm -hmm. But, uh, of course, uh, known extremely through his uh, return connection to WCW with Hulk Hogan. That's right, that's right. And also, we go back to the women just for a minute. We'd like to cover Terry Runnels, uh, manager... A lot of people didn't know was actually married to Dustin Rhodes or Runnels, and uh, came out there as Terry as he was Gold Dust. Yep. Um, uh, what I always liked about her was the cigar. That's right, the cigar. <laughs> yeah, among other large things that she. Among other nice attributes she had. Yes. <laughs> and also uh, another manager that we saw exclusively in WCW was Sonny Ono. Oh God. Sonny Ono. A manager for a lot of the women as well as the jobbers. We mentioned jobbers a couple of weeks ago here on GCW. Uh, Sonny Ono managed a lot of the women like Akira Hokuto and so on. Um, but while he is known as 
a manager of nobodies, pretty much. He was manager of uh, the Ultimo Dragon mm -hmm. at the time when uh, the Ultimo Dragon had uh, uh, more gold belts than a rapper has grills. That's right, that's right. And keeping in our WCW mode, we saw the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, be brought in and be manager for the New World Order. I guess, I guess you could call them manager for the New World Order. He pretty much just stood there and flashed his money. I mean, really, what purpose did he serve? He's, he is the million dollar man. I mean, if, if you want to say anybody was a manager for the NWO, it would have been Eric Bischoff. Eric Bischoff was the man with the money that could afford the talent. And Eric Bischoff got out there and just talked. And um, he came to the ring and he got Hulk Hogan, Randy Savage. He would be in their corner. It's hard to imagine, you know, uh, we've seen uh, the story of the AWA. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to imagine that his original job was uh, he was a back office guy mm -hmm. who was thrust into the spotlight when uh, the regular announcer or the interview guy didn't show up. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had no aspirations of being in front of a camera. And so it's hard to believe that uh, that little shy guy ended up getting his... Head shaved on national TV, <laughs> revealing a head of gray, <laughs> Eric Bischoff, which uh, is Daniel E. Main's hero. That's right. Yeah, every time we talk about something, you need to read this book. Man. Controversy creates cash, his recent autobiography out in bookstores. Yep.